Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Bill. We're going to be in the Advanced Player's Guide for Pathfinder for this video. Uh, we are continuing the Archetype class builds. The Archetype class we're on is Sorcerer. There is no actual Archetypes, it's all Bloodlines. So we're going to look at the Protean Bloodline for the Sorcerer. You have in your veins the ever-changing uh, wildness of primal chaos. The raw essence of unbound creation, your mind and spirit bursts with the constant inspiration of consummate freedom, though you have difficulty following through on a task when another new and exciting catches your interest. So extreme ADHD, gotcha. Class skill, knowledge planes, bonus spell, entropic shield, blur, gaseous form, confusion, major creation, disintegrate, greater polymorph, polymorph any object and shape change. So, Entropic Shields 3rd level, Blur's 5th level, Gaseous Form 7th level, Confusion's 9th level, Major Creation's 11th level, Disintegrate's 13th level, Greater Polymorph's 15th level, Polymorph any object is 17th level, and Shape Change is 19th level. Bonus Feats. Agile Maneuvers, Defensive Combat Training, Enlarged Spell, Great Fortitude, Improved Great Fortitude, Skill Focus, Craft Any, Skill Focus, and Toughness. Bloodline Arcana. Your magic of the creation changes is hard to unravel. The DC to dispel transmutation or conjuration creation spells that you cast is increased by plus four. So all your creation conjuration and your transmutation spell DCs to dispel it is plus four. So you could go in and take like school focus and up the DC even higher because your base DC would be higher and then that four would stack on it as far as them trying to dispel it. That's pretty good. Bloodline powers. Uh, protoplasm. At first level you can create a ball of entropic protoplasm and hurl it at targets within 30 feet. This protoplasm acts as a tangle foot bag that also inflicts one point of acid damage per round to a creature entangled by it. The protoplasm dissolves within 1d3 rounds. You may use this ability a number of times per day equal to 3 plus your charisma modifier. I like that ability. This would be a fun um, sorcerer bloodline for me to play because that, that gives you a lot of versatility there. At least the way I would use it. Uh, protein resistance. At third level you gain resist acid 5 and plus 2 bonus on saving throws against polymorph, petrification, transmutation spells, or effects. At ninth level, you can resist acid 10, and your save bonus increases to plus four. That's pretty good. Reality Wrinkle. At ninth level, you can surround yourself with a mobile 10-foot radius emanation of mutable reality. This rippling distortion is similar to solid fog, but does not provide concealment or block line of sight. Your movement is not slowed by this area. Attacks from outside the area, the, outside the aura, suffer a 20% mischance against the targets inside the aura. You may use this ability number of rounds per day equal to your sorcerer level, though this duration need not be continuous. Spatial Tear. At 15th level, once per day, you can unravel the fibers of reality and ride along them as they snap back into place. This power functions as Dimension Door while also creating a mass of black tentacles centered on your former location. Both of these effects use your sorcerer level as the caster level. At 20th level, you can use this ability twice per day. That's pretty cool. I'd like to be able to use that more than twice per day at 20th level, but that's just my opinion. Either way, it's very awesome. Avatar of Chaos. At 20th level, you are infused with the essence of raw chaos. You gain immunity to acid, petrification, and polymorph effects, except when cast on self. So when you target yourself with your own magic, you can be affected, otherwise you are immune. So that's pretty cool. As well as a plus two bonus on save DCs and on checks to overcome spell penetration against creatures with the lawful subtype. That's cool. So it's kind of a chaos versus law class, at least towards the end there. So what do you all think about the Protean Bloodline? I I like it. I think I would have fun playing that as a sorcerer. My normal go-to would be the Demons, Devils, and uh, Dragons Bloodlines. What's your all's favorite Bloodline also? Leave that in the comments below. Until we all game again, guys.